Hi everyone, welcome back. In next couple of lectures, we are going to implement add employee feature. In this lecture, we will focus on creating employee component as a functional component. Well, here are the development steps. We first need to create a React functional component named employee component. Next, we will add add employee button in the list employee component. Next, we will configure the route for employee component. And finally, we are going to test all these changes. Well, if you look at the screenshot over here, we are going to add add employee button in a list of employees page. So whenever user click on this add employee button, then user should navigate to the add employee page. Okay. So the first step is create a react functional component named employee component. So let us go to our project in Visual Studio Code ID. And here, let me minimize this and go to components folder, right click, new file. Let us view file name as employee component dot jsx next let us use react code snippets command to create the functional component so here just type r a f c e so this will create react arrow function export component now we have created employee component as a functional component next let us take a look into next step next step is add add employee button in a list employee component so let us go to our project again and go to list employee component over here and go to return statement go to heading right after this heading we are going to add the button so here just type button next let us use bootstrap css classes to style this button well if you go to browser and in new tab just type bootstrap five buttons and hit enter and go ahead and click on this link and just scroll down and here you can see the bootstrap css classes button button primary and you can see the corresponding button primary so this looks good so let us copy these two bootstrap css classes let's go to our project and let us add these two bootstrap css classes to button so here class name property and then paste button button primary and let us view margin button 2 and let us view the name of the button add employee all right next whenever user click on this add employee button then we have to handle on click event right for that here let us have on click event handler and next we need to pass the function here so for example here let us give function name as add new employee next let us provide the implementation for this function so here go to return statement just above this return statement let's create the javascript function function and then add new employee all right so whenever user click on this add employee button then we have to navigate that user to the add employee component right so in order to navigate user from one page to another page we can use use a navigate hook so here go to import statement and here let us first inject use navigate hook from react router dom so import within curly braces just type use navigate so this use navigate hook from react router dom next use navigate hook is nothing but a javascript function so let us assign this javascript function to a constant variable so const navigator equal to use navigate Next, let us use this navigator in a add new employee function. So go to add new employee function and here just call navigator and then pass the URL slash add employee. Well, whenever user click on add employee button, then user should navigate to add employee page. All right. So next, let us take a look into next step. Next step is configure the route for employee component. Well, here we have specified the url but we haven't configured the route for this url yet right so let us go and let's configure the route for employee component so let us go to app.jsx and here let us type route let us use its path property and let's configure the url slash add employee next let us use the element property and let us specify the component name employee component 
So whenever user hit this link in the browser, for example, let me copy this, paste it over here, and let me let me change the URL, localhost 3000 slash add employee. Then the corresponding employee component will be rendered in a browser. Okay. Well, if you go to list employee component .jsx file and go to add new employee, so here we have configured the URL slash add employee. So whenever user click on add employee button, then user will navigate to the add employee route and the component for this route is employee component okay so basically whenever user click on this add employee button then user will navigate to employee component next let us take a look into next step next step is test the above changes so let us go ahead and let us test all these changes so let's go to browser and look at here add employee button is added to list of employees page next go ahead and click on add employee button over here and look at here the user is navigated to employee component and if you look at the url add employee all right so if you can compare with the code so go to vs code and look at here whenever user hit this link in the browser localhost 3000 slash add employee then the corresponding employee component will be rendered right and within employee component you can see employee component text so this is a text displayed over here okay it means we have successfully created employee component as a functional component and we have configured the route for this employee component all right in next lecture we are going to design add employee form all right great i will see you in the next lecture